who doesn't want to improve themselves or accomplish more or be more successful, right? I mean, something that we all wanna do. But when you're thinking about life-changing stuff, it can feel like it's going to take a lot of effort. That's not necessarily true though, and in this video, I'm going to reveal 10 extremely simple life-changing habits that you can start today. I'm Brian Sakawa, and you're watching He Spoke Style, where we give you the information and inspiration you need to dress well, have more confidence, and unlock your potential. Life-changing habit number one is to set daily goals. Nothing feels better than accomplishing something, right? And there's no reason you can't accomplish things every single day. But the trick is here that you need to set practical goals. So like launching a new business, that's a great goal to have, but that's not something that you can do in a single day. So if you don't do that in a single day, don't feel like you haven't accomplished anything. You know, I've had a lot of success where at the very beginning of the day, I sit down at my desk and I take out my notepad, super old school, uh, and I spend about five minutes thinking about what I need to accomplish, and then I write those things down. Those are the things I'm gonna focus on that day, not on anything else. And when I finish a specific task, I cross it off, and that's one goal for the day achieved. And then at the end of the day, you know, maybe I haven't gotten to everything on the list, but that's okay, because I see all the things that I have crossed off, those goals that I've achieved for the day, and I count those as wins. Life-changing habit number two is to unfollow social media accounts that do not bring you joy. So probably about four or five years ago, I found myself kind of having an unhealthy relationship with social media and Instagram specifically. I was spending way too much time looking at other people, what they were doing, comparing myself to them. It was distracting. It took me away from what I needed to be doing. Just way too much time spent in a black hole, not accomplishing anything and just a terrible use of my time. So I was like, okay, I don't like these people. I have no real reason to follow them. The only thing I'm getting out of this is nothing actually. So I went through and unfollowed all those people and I just felt so much better after that. So seriously, if you find yourself doing what I just described and losing hours of your life to this worthless thing, scrub the people you follow and then unfollow all the ones that do not have a positive impact on you. Life-changing habit number three is to say no to things. To me, it always feels like everyone is asking me for everything. And, you know, I'm happy to help anyone with whatever they need help with, but at a certain point, it just seems like it's coming at me from all directions and emails are piling up and I'm forgetting things because of this and I just can't get everything, or actually I can't get anything done. It's frustrating. I feel paralyzed. I, I just want to like crawl up in a little ball and for everyone to leave me alone. Um, so what I've realized is that there comes a point where you just have to start saying no to things. I'd love to help everyone out, but I just don't have the time, and that's fine. I say no because I can't. I'm not being a jerk. I'm just being realistic, and I'm avoiding a situation where I'm setting up some false expectations for someone. There's a great book called Essentialism, The Disciplined Pursuit of Less, which I highly recommend uh, checking out if you find yourself having a hard time saying no to things. It will teach you how to pick out the most important things and eliminate everything else so you can focus your energy on those things that really matter. Life-changing habit number four is to commit to looking your best. Lots of ways you can do this, clothing for example, but in this particular instance, I wanna highlight taking care of your face. You know, Having a good skincare routine is a great daily habit to get into because not only does it improve your appearance in the short term, but it also pays a lot of dividends as you age, which something that matters to me as a 43-year-old guy. For the past six months or so, I've been exclusively using products by our sponsor for today's video, Tiege Hanley, and specifically the Level 3 Advanced System, which includes a facial cleanser, a face scrub, a morning moisturizer, an evening moisturizer, an eye cream, and a serum, which is designed to slow down the appearance of aging. There are three reasons that I love this stuff. Number one, it smells and feels great. Number two, it's extremely easy to use, completely uncomplicated. They tell you when to use it and exactly how much to use, which I really like because I'm someone who loves a good routine like that. And then reason number three is that it actually works. As I said, I've been using this stuff for about the past six months and I can really see and feel a difference in how my skin looks. When you look your best, 
You feel your best too, and Teach Hanley has been helping me to do both of those things. When you join Teach Hanley, you're gonna get access to a bunch of perks as well, including free US shipping, 25% off the retail price, exclusive access to new products, and more. And because Teach Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering you guys a great deal. Just click the first link in the description to get the best possible price and a free gift with your first box. You can get started for just $25, which if you've done any research at all for quality skincare products, you know is a great price. Life-changing habit number five is to read for 30 to 60 minutes every day. This is all about building in time for yourself and making time for yourself. You know, getting rid of all those distractions in your life and just focusing for that short amount of time on something to enrich your life. It's amazing to me uh, how inspiring and motivating that time can be. I've certainly found that to be the case. You know, After I read, I'm just so ready to tackle whatever it is I'm after and I've got like five books that uh, I've either just finished or I'm making my way through or I'm looking forward to starting. Uh, I've got this one right here by Donald Miller called Building a Story Brand. And then Launch by Jeff Walker. Thanks for the recommendation on this one, Atomic Habits. I have Expert Secrets by Russell Brunson. And finally, Disrupt You by Jay Samet. So you can kind of see where my mind is, but you can totally use this reading time to escape as well. Life-changing habit number six is to tidy up your space at the end of the day. I don't know if you're like me, but I do much better. I'm way more productive when my working and living environment is neat. So I'm gonna admit that I'm not the best at this, especially in the studio, which just becomes a freaking disaster after we shoot. I mean, you just see this right here, but if you could see around, we're not gonna do that. Uh, so what I've been trying to do and what has made me feel best at the end of the day, whether we're shooting or I'm just working at my desk, is I take like 10 minutes to neaten everything up. So that way, uh, the next day when I come down, I look at how neat my desk is, how neat the studio is. I feel calm. I don't feel anxious at all. Uh, and again, that leads me to being more productive throughout the day. Life-changing habit number seven is to get seven to eight hours of sleep every night. So I gotta admit that it's kind of been nice over this past year plus to not have to get up super early to commute into work, so just trying to hunt the good stuff here. Uh, I really like that extra hour that I can spend sleeping, but you know, we've also actually been going to bed at a pretty decent hour, usually between like 9.30 and 10.30 every night. Uh, and getting more sleep is good because you just feel refreshed every day. It's healthier. Uh, and you have more energy to just straight up accomplish, you know, whether that's exercising or work, getting something done around the house. Life-changing habit number eight is to be present. This is one that I really have to work on because no matter how much I get done, how much I accomplish, or even how big that accomplishment is, I'm always thinking about what is next. Now, I think that's okay, uh, to always be thinking ahead like that, but you need to take time to live in the moment. Be where you are, take a little bit of time to appreciate that, slow down for a moment, don't look at your phone, take a breath, and relax. Life-changing habit number nine is to donate. Now, this doesn't have to be money. There are other ways that you can donate as well, and donating just makes you feel good. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to describe. I do this by donating my time. So back when I was in high school, I was a member of the Empire State Youth Orchestra in upstate New York, and it had a really powerful impact on me as a musician and as a person. Uh, so now they have what they call the Young Leaders Program, where they identify 25 really outstanding students and pair them with a mentor. So I volunteer to be a mentor for that program. Pretty much every other week, I spend about an hour talking to my young leader. Feels really good to give back in that way, and it's something that makes my life better as well. Life-changing habit number 10 is to exercise three to six times a week. I know everyone tells you that, but having an exercise routine is great for your health, it's great for your energy, it makes you feel better, and it's great for your confidence. I wanna thank Tiege Hanley for sponsoring this video once again, and remind you to click the link down below in the description to get a free gift with your first order.